Welcome to Terror at Collinwood. I am your hostess, Danielle, a.k.a. Penny Dreadful, and I am absolutely honored that David Selby himself has joined me in this episode to celebrate the 55th anniversary of Quentin Collins' first appearance in Dark Shadows. And this anniversary just happens to coincide with the holiday season, so this will also be our Christmas slash holiday episode. And as you may be able to tell from my voice, I recently had a cold and I still sound a little congested, so I do apologize for that. Before we get to the show, if you would, please share the podcast. There is usually a little share feature in a lot of these podcast apps. Uh, Just hit that button, share it, whether it's through a text message or uh, through social media, sharing it to groups, sharing it to your wall. There is a YouTube video version of this episode as well, so please do like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're listening on one of the podcast apps and you can rate the podcast through Apple Podcasts or Spotify, please do rate the podcast and leave a little review uh, if you have time, even if it's a one sentence or a three word review. Uh, if you like the podcast, please do leave a little review. That does help the podcast to reach more listeners. And without further ado, let's get to today's very special special show. is fun, but there are spoilers inside. They say lightning never strikes twice, but on December 16th, 1968, it did. Dark Shadows, already a smash hit thanks to Vampire Barnabas Collins, grew into an even bigger rating success with the addition of the iconic Quentin Collins, played by the one and only David Selby. I'm extremely honored, thankful, and excited to welcome David himself back to the podcast to help me celebrate the 55th anniversary of Quentin's first appearance. Welcome back to the show, David. Hey, <laughs> thank you. Danielle. Welcome. Oh, I'm so I'm so excited. I'm how, glad, how, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> how how have you been? How, are you ready for the holidays? Ah, uh, well, um, we're having a party tomorrow night, so <laughs> I've got to get ready oh. for that. And uh, my son and his uh, family, they are coming up as we speak. They're uh-huh. probably on their way up here. And uh, they live in L.A. And all my children uh, live in California. So uh-huh. yeah. Yeah, as, I'll be, as, I'll be how many, seeing. Oh, great. How many kids do you have? Three. Three kids, yeah. And the son you're talking about is Jameson, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. that's so cool. Yeah, he's done he's done some dark shadow stuff with you too, with the with the big Finnish audio dramas and uh, yes, yes, and all yes, of that. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah, yeah it's a keep, keeping yeah. it in the family. I love it. Yeah. Uh, so before we talk about uh, look a little bit at the past and at, at Quentin, I want to talk a little bit about the future too. Um, mm-hmm. I hear you're in uh, Ansel. Farage's uh, upcoming film, The Great Nick D, uh, which sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. I know you can't spoil anything. I, don't, I know Ansel is keeping that under wraps. But, Ansel's uh, keeping that under wraps. Yeah, he... <laughs> I, I, th- I think so. Well, he's posted some pictures. And, and well, stuff. that's good. We, uh, uh, yes, uh, I did the other one. Uh, oh, the Todd Tarantula. The, yeah, yes. that was, yeah, that was that really was, cool. Yeah, that turned out to me. It was, you know, it, it won... Uh, a prize, you know, and yes, you did that. too for for best act huh? in the film. You won, you uh, you won best actor. Uh, in oh, that. that's, I, yeah, that's right. really that's cool. Important. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Well deserved too. Yeah. I might add. Um, anyway, yes, they. But the new film he's working on, he's still. I think they are just down in the final stages of you know editing it together mm-hmm. uh, because uh, we have another film to do. Oh, great. <laughs> in oh. time. Yeah. So uh, 
that's nice. It's nice to have those. Very exciting. Looking yeah. forward to that too. Yeah, and Ansel's great. Uh, he's he's really talented, and he's he's a, he's a really nice guy, and he's just he his is. enthusiasm is just off the charts. Yes, just, well, yeah. Yes. Hey, <laughs> uh, yes. We enjoy working with each other. Right. Wonderful. You know, so it's it's quite terrific, and he is he is a special, you know, yeah. a writer director. I'm just glad to be working with him. Wonderful. Oh, fantastic. So um, so we're here to, to, to celebrate the 55th anniversary of Quentin's first appearance on Dark Shadows. Happy anniversary, by the way. Can you believe that? <laughs> that, that is pretty wild. Uh, it's 55th anniversary of Quentin's first, yeah. first appearance. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, when you first Keep came going, on, keep going. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, we'll be back to celebrate the 60th anniversary in a, in a few years. Um. But Quentin, uh, when you first came onto the show as as Quentin, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you had to play this ghost and it was a very, um, you know, scary uh, character, but also having a great time terrorizing the, the residents of, of Collinwood, which is, I could tell you were really enjoying uh, playing that that character. Um, but you, you had a substantial uh, theater background before you came uh, to Dark Shadows. You were in uh, shows like Honey in the Rock, The Impossible Years, okay. Oklahoma, Brigadoon, Romeo and Juliet, and many more. Um, having come from a theater background and going to television and doing Dark Shadows, I mean, I've always heard Dark Shadows was very much like a, a summer stock, almost like a hybrid between theater and television. Was that a difficult transition to make, going from a the theater background to television, or was it very organic for you? Well, uh, I guess it was organic. The actors, you know, all of my uh, fellow actors, uh, you know, had been stage performers. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, many of us, uh, we, we would do do a dual thing. You know, we would be doing a play at night and then doing Dark Shadows during the day, you know. Yeah. Uh, so, no, um, it was, so all of the actors on that came out of, a, most of them, I believe, they all came out of a theatrical background, you know, back then, mm -hmm. back at the end of the 60s, you know. And uh, so, um no, I yeah, I found it very, you know, very, very nice. Yeah, yeah. Dan, Dan Curtis seemed to like uh, in bringing in theater actors for the show. Yes, um, well, yeah, Dan was uh, <laughs> was quite theatrical. Now, Dan was, uh, what can I say? He's terrific. He was terrific, absolutely wonderful, and uh, yeah. Big personality, from what I understand. I I never had the chance to meet him in person, but I've heard a lot of. Oh, he was about. a personality, you know, but uh, yeah. he uh, he cared about the work, you know, what we were doing, mm -hmm. uh, and it's because of his. And he had a, a couple of good writers, you know, some good writers, but uh, I owe it to Dan, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, uh, for bringing me on to the show. Yeah. And yeah. when you, when you finally, um, you know, got to speak, you had, you were started out as a ghost and then mm -hmm. we got to the past. We saw when Quentin was alive and very, yeah. a rogue, a, a rogue, very charming, <laughs> witty, you know, a lot of great dialogue uh, that your yeah. character had, but then you were a zombie for a little while. Famously, you were a werewolf in the show. Uh, and then uh, Dorian Gray, immortal Dorian Gray type with yeah. a painting that ages. Yes. Um, were you a fan of 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 that type of literature before you yes. came on? The, Very really? much. Mm -hmm. But I, I didn't think about it. I didn't know what Dark Shadows I had. You know, when I came on, uh, a lady who uh, that I met Marin Dougherty, and she was a wonderful casting director. Mm -hmm. And uh, she literally said, well, where have you been? And I said, well, she says, come on. So we went outside her office down on the east side and uh, got in a cab. She paid for the cab fare. We went up to Dan Curtis's office, which, mm -hmm. as I recall, was just on Park Avenue, up above 42nd Street. And uh, took me up to meet Dan. And that was it. A day later, I was back in Dan's office with Marianne. And 
to do a little scene or whatever. I just, you know, and uh, wasn't much. But I, I always remember because I had to move a couple of golf balls. Dan was a golfer and he <laughs> practiced putting in his office. And yeah. so I moved a couple of golf balls, did a scene. And uh, the next day, they invited me over to the studio, which was on uh, 53rd Street, New York City, mm -hmm. during 9th and 10th. I went over there and he looked at me on camera and uh, that was that was it. I got the day later, I had the job. You had the sideburns on and you were... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the sideburns. It's, you grew you grew out your own after a while. After, after a while, I grew my own. Yeah. Was it just because it was a pain to keep putting them on and off, or was it just yeah? No, well, <laughs> I just decided. Yeah, I would just you know, but I had a great makeup uh, artist, Vinny oh. Scazzo, and Vinny put those sideburns on every day. Yeah. So. Oh. Uh, yeah, he I was did. he was very talented, and uh, and then Alex Stevens when he would you would you know punch oh, him would turn into a werewolf. Alex, remember uh, Alex? Yeah, yeah, Alex would be the werewolf, and that that was yes, he fan. would great makeup too uh, yeah. on him. Yeah. Um, while you were on Dark Shadows, you were also, as I recall, pursuing your uh, PhD right from was it Southern Illinois University? And I think I remember reading uh, David Hennessy said you were uh, making a photocopy of your dissertation at the studio office while yeah, while you were exactly. pursuing. Uh, that's right. Yeah, oh, that yeah. must have been. A I, did. I did. Yeah. I did. Uh, I wrote the dissertation <laughs> while I was doing Dark Shadows, but and. I finally finished it and ran it off on the machine there. there. Yeah. <laughs> but it was on a lovely theater in New York mm -hmm. called the American Place Theater mm -hmm. and run by just, uh, again, a wonderful man, Wynn Hanman. Mm -hmm. And I finished it. And then, I don't know, a year later or whatever, I, I went back to Southern Illinois, Southern, okay. to defend my dissertation. You know? I see, I and see. And you had to answer some questions and things like that. So I did that. Yeah. And uh, because I I just wanted to finish it. Yeah. That's all. I had this uh, um, bit of insecurity about me. You know, I wanted to finish this uh, degree, you know. Sure. Uh, so uh, I did, and uh, that was that. Yeah. I, <laughs> How did you juggle never... all of that? I mean, you were doing a, a PhD dissertation, doing Dark Shadows every day, doing theater, and also managing uh, family responsibilities as well. That must have been a challenge to keep keep juggling all of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I was the, the reason I did it on the American Place Theater because when Hammond. Uh, was an acting coach also, mm -hmm. and he had an acting uh, little studio that uh, I took lessons. I mean, I took his uh, class. Uh, oh, yeah. There were few of us in there that took his uh -huh. class. So that's that's how that all yeah. started, and I wanted to finish it, you know. So. Yeah. But then right away, I was doing Dark Shadows, so I... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's a lot. Um, while you were in New York too, you were um, you, you and your wife Chip, I believe, started a children's um, theater program. What was it? Um, we did. We started a. Well, she I put this in her. It's a musical. She had started. We had both, and I helped her. Uh, we had a children's uh, organization, children's theater. Where they did some plays at a church, mm -hmm. and uh, was that. Was that after Dark Shadows or during? Uh, a after. After, okay. Pretty much after. Yeah, I think that's really cool. Uh, it's really great that you, you know. Well, it's we moved up to this community. Uh huh. And uh, I was doing plays in New York too, mm -hmm. right after. Oh goodness, you know it's hard. But I was, and so I was commuting between a little town called Pleasantville, New York. And uh, and the and New York City, yeah, where I was doing. But and then on, you know, Sunday she would uh, direct the children's chorus or the music 
and then they decided she decided we we should yeah. do a children's theater. Yeah. Oh, that's so great. We did that and put on a couple of plays and things like uh -huh. that. How did your family react to the whole Quentin thing then and versus now? I mean, because that character you played became a pop culture icon. I mean, you were all over merchandise. Uh, to this day, they they have come out with Quentin stuff. Um, yeah. I mean, it's really cool. Uh, how how was your how did your family react to that at that time, and how do they react to it today? Uh, they always <laughs> just accepted it. Yeah. We had a wonderful uh, gal at that time back then who came to our apartment, mm -hmm. Gloria Stavers. Oh, from 16 Magazine, right? You yeah. got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Gloria was wonderful. Mm -hmm. Absolutely a delight. And she was responsible for all of, you know, a lot of that publicity or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that was that was that, and we did it uh, because of Gloria, and she was just wonderful, and you know. Did you get any of the the merch items? Did they ever send them, to, like the Quentin action figure, or the bobblehead, or the lunchbox, or any of that stuff? I got a uh, I've got a lunchbox somewhere. And uh -huh. I, somebody sent me a bo bobblehead. Oh, great. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Do you know a fella who used to be work with Dan a lot, Jim Pearson? Sure, Jim Pearson. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, Jim got me um, a lot of that stuff. But yes, <laughs> I would get you know, I, I would get sent uh, those things. Oh, great! And Gloria Good. always had something, you know. Yeah, great. So, I, and I, I, mm -hmm. I so appreciated it. And I want you to know. Uh, I don't have any around here in this, uh, but still have a few things. I oh, do indeed. great. I oh. cherished that, that yeah. time. I just had uh, recently the artist who painted the Dark Shadows lunchbox uh, on the podcast. He's brilliant art. Mark Maddox, brilliant artist. And he was a fan as a kid uh, growing up. So he was thrilled to get that opportunity to uh, to paint the the artwork for, yeah. for that. So yeah. uh, and he did a great job on it. Now, you went from the TV show, you did uh, the movie to the, the second movie, Night of Dark Shadows, uh, which um, is a really eerie Film and I'm hoping that I know Darren Gross was trying to uh, has been an, an, you know spearheading this effort to release the director's cut of the film because it was a substantially longer um, you know and I know you re-recorded audio for it and everything like that do you uh, do you think there's any hope of that ever happening the, the full director's cut of the film coming out well I you know that would be nice mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I'm all for Darren and and Jim uh, getting this all together. Yeah, and uh, would help in whatever way I could. So, yes, that would be you know, <laughs> you know I have. It's just because of the time back then. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what was going on in the country, yeah, in the world in New York City at that time. Uh, you know, it just it. I don't know, Dark Shadows meant so much to me and all the fans who gathered at the studio. And, you know, a lot of them would walk me back to our apartment, you know, afterwards, but just wonderful. And in fact, and I've, I've mentioned this or told this to some people, maybe I even wrote about it at one point, but there was a, next to our studio on uh, 53rd, I think it was 53rd Street, mm -hmm. and between west. 9th and 10th mm -hmm. on the west side, there was a parking lot right next door to the, our ABC studio. And every once in a while, but not often, I always say, but the fans would be so much yeah. that he would say, come on in here. And I would come into his little uh, a cubicle, you know, just a little, I don't know, three foot square where he, <laughs> you know, stayed to take tickets from people who were going to park in the lot. Mm -hmm. 
And he, he, he came up, he told me one day, he said, listen, he said, you know, somehow he, he said, uh, I work with a, a group that uh, we, uh, we're going to do a television show out in, uh, in Los Angeles. And that was going to be called, uh, it was at that time, uh, he didn't have, but it, it was going to be called the Waltons. Okay, yeah. And then the Waltons, of course, became whatever. And but because of that, and then later, I'm I met, I I go out to L.A. I mean, I'm just on a not for any job, but I just happened to be in L.A. Right, not too long after Dark Shadows shut down. And I met, had the occasion, I was going to do an episode of the Waltons. Huh. So yeah. it's it it was all in the works, you know, little did I know. I remember that. You were a teacher, I think, a school teacher in that, right? Yes. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes. And I met Earl Hamner, mm -hmm. Earl created. Mm -hmm. And then years or a few, I don't know how long later, Earl said, got another, we've got another show for you, you know. Uh -huh. And eventually I did a show called, what was it called? With him, Flamingo Road, I can't recall. Oh, yeah. And then, or it may have been something else, but eventually um, I met this group of people and they're the ones who asked me to do Falcon Crest. I see. Okay. So that's, it's all going back. The connections that you made. Studio on West 53rd Street. And uh, that's how it all, you know, even the, my, uh, yeah, even my agent was somehow tied into this fellow who knew, you know. Yeah. So anyway, it that's all. That's amazing, yeah. It's yeah. just wild to think about the connections yeah, that the happened. Yeah, the coincidences and things that Right, happened. everything that came together was meant to yeah. be, yeah. Um, and Earl Hamner was quite special mm -hmm. because uh, he came from down in Virginia. And uh, so I, you know, was fortunate to be able to, you know, spend some time with Earl. Yeah. And, uh, and of course, then we went on and did other things. You know, yeah. Oh, after that true. one episode of The Waltons. Yeah. yeah. For Michael Lerner, I played her. I was, you know, flirting with the teacher, Michael. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Michael and I, years and years and years and years later, mm -hmm. did a play together. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah. Wow. Out in, in L.A. In, in LA. L.A., yeah. Yeah. Huh. I wanted to, to talk to you about um, one of your cast members, sadly. Uh, we lost uh, Laura Parker, Laura Parker. Uh, recently in the, the Dark yeah. Shadows fan community. I was devastated by that. I want to express yeah. my sympathies to you, as I know she was yeah. a friend of yours for many decades. I'm very sorry. Yeah. Um, and um, I she was on here uh, last year when she sound, she sounded great uh, when she was on here, but I know she she was ill. Uh, but um, yeah, I'm, so, I'm, I'm so sorry. And uh, she was wonderful. She, she was, was wonderful. Laura, as you know, mm -hmm. was... Uh, I don't know how to yeah. express it, except she was a lovely, lovely person. Yeah. So warm hearted. Yeah. Loved her family so yeah. much. Yeah. Um, and uh, what an actress. Oh, yeah. yeah. What an Angelique. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Really wonderful. And, a, and yeah. a really great writer, too. As are yeah. you. Um, you've, you've done a lot of writing, both fiction and non-fiction yeah. uh i mean uh memoirs plays poems yeah that's what i'm uh, that's why i'm up here i'm i'm up here to, i'm because i'm i'm working on another novel oh, and great. Uh, yesterday let's see was it yesterday i reached yeah i'm going through it you know because it's all in my head and some of it i've already written down mm -hmm. i mean i have a lot so yesterday i got to a page 130 Oh, good. But I'm 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 determined to get on to page two hundred. But I'm <laughs> you know, <laughs> great. It's, it's taking me a while. But uh, 
We'll see. Who knows what will happen with it, but I'll, oh, I'm yeah. doing it. Uh, and or do you enjoy writing fiction or nonfiction more, or are they both equally um, uh, rewarding? But both uh, fiction, but non, you know, I've written a lot of books that are based on reality and where mm -hmm. I come from, West Virginia. Sure. I mean, I wrote some books that basically talked about life mm -hmm. uh, uh, in Appalachia. Yeah. yeah. Oh, great. And for those listening uh, to the podcast, you can get all of David's books at www.davidselby.com, uh, where you can get autographed books from David. Uh, and you can also keep up with his uh, goings on or at his website and also through social media on uh, Instagram, X, formerly known as Twitter uh, and okay. Facebook. Uh, so you, you can keep up with uh, everything David has going on with, with books and performances, films, yeah. television. I think there's a gal, Bridget. Do you know uh -huh. Bridget? I don't know her personally, but I have Bridget, heard yeah. her for, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she runs your social media stuff. Yeah. 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 Oh. All that stuff. I've never. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have not had the pleasure of meeting Bridget, but I, but I have heard of her. Um, Mark B. Perry is working on getting this Dark Shadows reincarnation sequel series off the ground, uh, kind of a Dark Shadows, what what's going on now with the Collins family. Uh -huh. uh, if that does happen, and fingers crossed that it does, would you be up for uh, a return visit to Collinwood uh, for that show? <laughs> as, as you mean, as Quentin? As Quentin, or I was, you're the only oh, actor well, who's I, ever played well, Quentin. Uh, you know, Barnabas, yeah. Angelique, we've had uh, Julia <laughs> no. Hoffman, have had multiple actors at this point. But yeah. Quentin, you're you're the one and only. Would you come back as Quentin or as another character, oh, or I, rather, I, or as somebody else? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, Quentin would have to come back and dye his hair dark. <laughs> yeah, there we go. You got to put the sideburns back on. <laughs> I, yes, sure, I would, you know, and it, Dark Shadows meant so much to me, the people in it. Yeah. Uh, my God, I still keep in touch with uh, Catherine Scott. Yeah. Jim sure. Storm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Jim Storm is. Hey, sure you do. Of course, and all, yes, yeah. All of those uh, people. Yeah. So, I, yeah. I would hope I would hope that uh you know I'm sure I'm sure if Mark gets this off the ground I'd love to see yourself Catherine of course James Storm uh come back to 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 do characters in in that show you know one, oh, one Marie Wallace and... Marie Wallace yeah one actor who oh. I think was fantastic and uh and you had great scenes with him was David Hennessy uh he oh. he was he was a kid but he was a very yeah, David. very David good actor yeah that. yes yeah uh yeah, that'd be fun if David. Yeah, I think David was living in South America. Or... Yeah, I think he's in Panama. He, he Panama. Was, was, so was he, a restaurant you know, business. Could yeah. Come back up and do. <laughs> Can a even if it's a that would be that would be, that would be quite be, special. That would be you know, amazing. Those times, you know, sitting mm -hmm. with uh, David or doing those scenes with Quentin and mm -hmm. and the boy David. Yeah, and is it Denise Nickerson too, Amy. Denise Nickerson. Yeah. One day, years after Dark Shadows ended, years after, I'm in LA, walking down the street, uh, over by, well, in, uh, I don't know what that area is called. It's by Universal Studios, but that area I had a, in, what's it, West, well, it's West Hollywood. Like Melrose. Uh, or... It's around Toluca Lake. Do you know where okay. it's been, uh, all of that area? walking down the street and who's walking toward me and I look up and it's Denise. Oh, wow. Nickerson. And I can't tell you. It, she was so special. Yeah. yeah. Such, it makes me get emotional. She yeah. Was, she was uh, very dear. I, I wish I had had the opportunity to to have met her, but she was a brilliant actress, and I've heard interviews with her, and she seemed yeah. absolutely. Have you wonderful. have you met David? I, I haven't met him. I would love to meet David Hennessy. Maybe yeah. maybe one day I can get him maybe on, get him on a podcast. Yeah, <laughs> he, he again, might. very yeah, yeah, very special. I I and saw him. 
the show that Dark Shadow was just yeah. very fortunate. Yeah. To have, uh, in fact, everybody, they just blended so well in that show, the cast. Sure. You yeah. know, it was uh, just great, one. Great actors, Jonathan Frick, Grayson Hall, Thayer David. Jonathan Frick, Grayson Hall. Yeah. It was, she became my mentor, Grayson yeah. did. Yeah. Uh, wow. And her husband, Sam Hall. Sam. Writer. Sure. Uh, but Grayson and Joan. Joan Bennett. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Joan. Louis, Ed Louis Edmonds. Yeah. Louis, dear, dear Louis. Yeah. Um, all of these people are so. Um, are so in my heart, my yeah. soul. Uh, I, it's, it's a difficult at times, except uh, yeah. I am so, what, every one of them, was, they were so good to me. Yeah. They were so kind, so welcoming. Uh, and we had such a good time together. Yeah. And uh, they they were good, kind, wonderful people with big hearts. Yeah. Their souls were beautiful. They were beautiful people. And I don't say that like I, I you can ask mm -hmm. anybody about them, but just they were wonderful. Yeah. And dear Jonathan, I mean, Thayer David and I were friends too. Uh, Humbert Allen. Oh, I'm just, sure. all, <laughs> uh, they, see, it starts coming, all yeah. these names are coming out. Uh -huh. Jerry Lazy. Uh, oh, you know, gosh, all. yeah. But Jonathan, Jonathan and I, till the end, yeah. we would write. <laughs> and psst, what are you doing? She's <laughs> all just up here. He lived back in the town where he grew up, a bit just about up in Canada. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> I said, well, I'm going to go. And he says, oh, I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> <Or> whatever. <laughs> he was, I mean, we used to sit in our dressing rooms and run lines together. Yeah. You know, and, you know, it's yeah. just, a special, special sure. time yes. because he, Jonathan went to Yale, Yale mm -hmm. Drama School, and I was so intimidated, is that the word by Jonathan, about his, <laughs> you know, and he had already been out there, but, but uh, I can't tell you how welcoming he was. That's great. They all were. That's I mean... <laughs> That's intim I mean, it must be coming in with an established show like that, you know, and coming in with these these actors who had already been with it for a little while. They, the fact that they were welcoming and made you feel uh, at home is a, is a great thing, uh, and it speaks a lot to their, uh, you know, their personalities and what kind of people they were to to be that way. Because you know, you can run into people. I've done a bit of theater myself too, and sometimes you know you you get run okay. into sometimes people that can be not as not as warm. So that's nice to know that. Um, I guess the last thing I want to ask you, the 55th anniversary of Quentin, uh, is there any kind of uh, message you want to to give to your many, many fans out there who are listening to this uh, in honor of, of uh, Quentin's 55th anniversary and uh, just your, your fan, Dark Shadows fans in general? <laughs> uh, just don't give up. <laughs> don't give up. Never, just keep going, keep going. Uh, on to the next. On What's the, next? On what? to the next. <laughs> on to the next. What are you up to? On to the next. <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, that. And just uh, thank everybody and yourself. I mean, <laughs> no, I am serious. You're so open and kind thank you david that, yeah. that's really nice of you thank you <laughs> great smile <laughs> <laughs> thanks <laughs> uh well you know this this podcast is all about 
uh, celebrating Dark Shadows and everybody who helped create Dark Shadows, most certainly, including and especially yourself. So uh, I want to thank you. I want to wish you, David, a happy holiday season. Uh, uh, and to you <laughs> and you. to all uh, to all of your DS people out there across the, you know, the world. <laughs> <laughs> We do have listeners. Uh, it's mostly the U.S., but a lot of yeah. uh, listeners in the U.K. and Canada too, and other you know locations too that I wouldn't expect to see you know, yeah. Australia and all kinds of really interesting sure. places that show up on the. I look at the analytics. I'm like, wow, it's <laughs> interesting. Um, but thank you. Uh, happy holidays, everyone listening. Happy holidays to you, Daniel. Really. Thank you. Uh, God bless you. God bless and, you too. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. I think Hanukkah is yeah, over by the time yeah. this goes. Out, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, anyway, and uh, if I make it up to uh, Massachusetts uh, <laughs> or Boston or wherever I'm going, but uh, if you get to LA or wherever we are, we'll say hello. Oh, absolutely! I would, I would love that. Drop, drop me a line anytime you're out here, and I'll, 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 I'll take, I'll, I'll show you the sites. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So till the next, um, what? Podcast? Is that what you? Call? Yes, the next podcast, the next, the next Quentin anniversary. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. Well, thank you All very right. much. All right, and I'm just thank gonna you. hit stop here. Terror at Collinwood is a penny dreadful production.